now, now, back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. We're back on the Big Dumb Fun Show at BigDumbFunShow.com. If you've got questions, we've got answers. Okay, that's not true. No. We've got questions we if have you've no got answers. answers. Give us a call, 888-832-7561. Be live on the air Mondays. 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. The rest of the week, leave us a random-ass voicemail message. Big, big thanks to the guys from the Liars scene joining us now in studio. we got Rick and John in here, just two uh, fifths of uh, the Liars two scene, fifths. correct? You're yes. missing three guys? I know. Yeah, we're missing three of Bunch them. Bunch of jerks. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are here. That's all that matters, though. You're talking about the big, uh, the big CD release. But before we get into that, though, tell us a little bit about what is the Liars scene. When did you get together? When j- how did it all form? How did it all and come where about? where did the name come from? Yeah. <laughs> all those hard-hitting questions mm-hmm. that we'd right. like to unload on you right now. Um, well, the band formed in October of 2010 uh, with this guy next to me. Hi, um, this guy. This guy, which is John. John. Here. He's a little shy. Don't mind him. Um, Just a little shy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we formed in October of 2010 uh, with the intention of actually reforming an old band. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was playing bass at the time, and then we picked him up on bass and decided to go in a different direction with it. So you were playing bass, and you yeah. picked up another bassist, and you're yeah, like, well, 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 we what, pick- "What can I do now?" Well, <laughs> well, it was uh, after talking about it for a while. Like, you know we- who we need to replace? Me. I am awful exactly. at this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, well, we just wanted to go in a different direction. I think mm-hmm. mostly. So. Uh, I decided to give the vocal thing a try. So this is the first band I've ever sang lead vocals in. I've always kind of done backup harmonies and screams, that type of thing. Cool. But, uh, yeah, so we picked him up on bass, and we just decided to try me out on vocals, and it kind of stuck. Uh, since then, we've Sweet. had... Yeah, since then, we've had a, a synth player join, which is Trevin, who couldn't be here tonight, unfortunately. Turd. I like to, <laughs> I like to think of him as the mastermind behind all of this because he's kind of our uh, producer, I guess. Yeah. So he um, creates the stew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's, so he's the he's, wicked witch. He's the glue that holds <laughs> us together. So, um, but yeah, the name was well, actually not not a lot of synth. Uh, you know, well, I mean, there's some, I guess, more yeah. than more than usual. But uh, that's got to b- uh, bring a, a a new sound or a, a difference, Definitely. a difference yeah. in what you did have then, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Before it was, you know, your basic hard rock. You got distorted guitars. You mm-hmm. got harmony vocals, screams. You know, hard hitting drums. So you're taking that combination of hard rock, right. blow your face off metal type stuff, and going right. to symphony. And not not symphony, <laughs> but like <laughs> I have a, have There's a symphonic set. elements. Uh, yeah, put yeah, some, yeah, put some uh, some synth in there. And uh-huh. uh, now, does he uh, does he play live or does he have all those beats behind the scenes? Oh, he's definitely live. Um, oh, he's all up there. Yeah, yeah. He's that's cool. Uh, I mean, especially uh, the thing was he joined later um, than everybody else. Mm-hmm. Like he was kind of like the latest addition to the band, but. Now, did you come up with all new stuff when he joined that uh, uh, that that he could or did he just kind of say oh I like this song I'm gonna come up with a you know exactly. did he like yeah he no, that's say, exactly what happened I'm that's gonna punch it, it up a bit yeah I mean that's how it went down is uh we you know we had four or five you know solid tunes that we were really proud of and uh Pat our guitar player actually met him through working at a gas station in Gower sweet and <laughs> uh, he was like oh yeah I'm a musician and Pat's like well so am I you know here's a demo. So he started coming out and hanging out. And this guy's at a gas station. He's got his demo. <laughs> right, right. I got it right here, man. Right. I mean, I've been listening to myself all you night. You just never know, though. <laughs> you well, got, you just, always got to have. You right. always got to be prepared. Everywhere. I mean, I carry it. In Gower, really, that might be yeah. the hot spot. Is the gas station? I don't know. It's What's, pretty small uh, town, right? Where's Gower? Yeah. What's Gower? Exactly. Gower. Well, it's uh, right outside of Smithville. It's oh, between Smithville Gower. and St. Joe. Yeah. So. Ooh, la, la. You know, if these guys drove from St. Joe. Yeah. All the way here today. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. That's awesome. It's about an hour and 15. Oh, I'm so I sorry. And we had oh, a sorry. <laughs> hey, we're, we're happy to be here. <laughs> hey. so. Sorry I had to cover this crap. And we had a Lawrence guy, so we've Yeah, I know. Distance. People Aww. are driving some distance to get on the old you show tonight. So yeah. Well, tell me about the new CD. You've, you've been no, up and you around. No, you missed a question. I'm sorry. Where the name come from. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <sighs> that's always The Liar's like. Scene. The Liar's Scene. I feel like I'm actor studio now. Please <laughs> tell me where the name came from. The name was, believe it or not, the sixth track on here used to be called The Liar Scene, mm-hmm. um, which is a song about... It was our first song, yeah. yeah. it was our first song that we actually we wrote as a full band with a, with a full lineup. After everyone kind of dropped the bands they were in or in kind of regrouped. Uh, well, yeah, it was more of like a, a regrouping. Our, our old drummer, who was with us when, when we wrote a lot of that material, 
was in a band called Echoes from Airplanes. And they become a liar. Yeah. So then when they they decided to call it um, just personal stuff, so Dan was a full time with us. And uh, so, yeah, we, that was the first song we wrote. It used to be called The Liar Scene. It actually says in the chorus, it says the name of the band. And the song's kind of about death, I guess. <gasps> Um, a Grim Reaper type feel, uh, and that's kind of we were kind of thinking about the kind of like a lullaby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> you play to your kids and they'll go right to sleep. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's kind of where it came from. Was we were well, you changed it to break. Yeah. And that's uh, track six off the new CD, the liar scene called Persona. Persona. And uh, this is this is the first one. This is your big yep. uh, your big CD that you've uh-huh. uh, you've put together. Did you do the garage uh, studio or how did you put it together? Uh yeah. Well, I wish I could say garage, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of money that was poured into our oh, studio. Yeah. Um, big thanks to our our current drummer Shay, who couldn't make it as well. Um, he had the space. Sure. And <laughs> he had the space for it, and uh, you know, first we were practicing out of a garage. We were doing some home demos, that type of thing. And Trevin, the producer, who he's got an extensive background in recording engineering, and uh, nice. That's so, always good to have. Right, yeah. It's always good to have somebody in the band that's also a graphic designer. Well, actually, <laughs> you guys might know the the people who designed that. Uh, Who's that? You know, the band Burning Tide. Yeah, Roxy. And uh, Wayne, fantastic! Right, yeah, they designed the album art for us that's with their cool. uh, oh, that's H forty five design is what their that's what their company's called. So when well, you cool. when you practice in a garage, I mean, do you get a not a lot of noise complaints, or do you have the garage door closed, wide open? Uh, I was well, always we, curious about we that. We practiced in the country, out in Gower at the time. So nobody oh. cares. So, so nobody cares. Yeah, yeah, you're just you're acres away from anybody that give a damn. So you're right. really not practicing in the garage, you're in the car shed. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, your goal should be to have somebody They're call and complain. They're actually in right. the outhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't They're park the car Those in the do outhouse. exist yeah. in Gower. Yeah. The outhouses <laughs> are still there. Oh, yeah, Outdoor I know. Outdoor showers. The I got the grandparents in Buckner, and they still have one. Right. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so better than an outhouse. The liar scene bringing on <laughs> their first CD called Persona. We're gonna listen to uh, one of the tracks. What's the first one? We're gonna we'll take a take a listen at. What's the first track we're gonna listen to? Uh, the first track is called Person A, which is actually the intro to the album. Gotcha. So, so. Th- that's the, the title track, Person A. It's kind of a title track. Okay, but, but uh, it's actually Persona. Yeah. Oh, I see what yeah. you're doing there. It's a Very little play on clever. Words there. So it'll uh, it'll explain kind of the direction the album will go. We'll listen to Person A, and then we will be right back with the Liar Scene. Facebook.com/slash the Liar Scene. Fan up with them. <laughs> 